everybody, it's Eric Johnson, and in this video, we're gonna talk about the connection of the sweep leg, the arm path, and the orbit in the discus for beginners. So if you're doing these things, it slows down progress, and we're gonna talk about why and how to avoid it and what to do in this video. So let's check it out. Everybody, it's Eric Johnson and in today's video what we're going to talk about like we said is the sweep leg and the orbit of the discus and how they're connected and how it affects the overall position of the throw. Now one of the things that we obviously teach in our system it's super critical to set up the chain reaction set up our pillar one pillar two and that is going to have a, a huge impact on the rest of the throw. Now again our system is a six pillar system you have to train the entire throw but we talk about how critical it is to set up the proper positions and balance at the start of the throw and that's odd automatically going to start training the thrower to be more efficient and hit better positions and learn faster. So today what we're going to do is we're going to compare, just kind of look, it's off season. We're looking at how do we get the most out of our training and what is the focus that we need to have. So our three throwers kind of came out of their developmental phase and they were in programs and they learned some different things. And some of those patterns and concepts were less than optimal and we're actually repatterning. So we have a twofold thing. And one of that is going to be the topic here today is really understanding the sweep leg action and understanding the orbit of the discus. These two things are absolutely critical to setting up the throw and actually increasing you know how the rate in which an athlete picks up technique and distance each of these throwers all have prs between race roughly 100 and 105 feet so here's our first thrower and we're just kind of showing we're not showing pillar one we're just kind of coming into our pillar two and we're going to be looking at how we move around that entry i think pillar thrower one here does a really good job at this point but this is where you see two things occur the knee goes down the foot goes down and the discus goes down and these are going to be things that are going to affect the overall movement of the throw so notice the knees being close here and the foot pointed down real simple we want this toe to kind of be pointing up this way versus right it needs to be rotated this way which would rotate the knee out and create this path on the sweep but instead she's creating this path and the second connection is the hand position so as the hand goes down it becomes really difficult to get this discus to the high point the high point is super important to get this so that the discus is going to come around and allow the axis or the thrower to move around the right leg axis but here you'll see that the shoulder is reversed and we have videos where we've posted on the sweep the reverse orbit we've talked about carrying and versus dragging the discus so these three things really have a big impact so but we wanted to look at them kind of in action as we look at young throwers and then we'll talk really quick on some simple things to how to address that so when we look at thrower over the throw over here she actually on this particular throw she had better throws but she's doing something she kind of took a step and this isn't bad but she's opened this side too early so we want to open the path long and we do want to open the entry arm but it's opening to her which is pushing the chest back and the other thing is is she's got the discus too high there's a point where all discus throwers so let's throw up sandra perkovich and you'll see that as what i show here perkovich's discus is going to drop down to this height and so this athlete did the same thing similar over here the orbit stays too high and the discus starts to turn over because it's hard to carry the discus properly when it's this high. The orbit's going to kind of come down around and it's going to go back up and out and around. That's going to be the path of the discus. So here's as the hand turns over and she maintains the high position she's going to narrow up that sweep leg as well you can see her foot's trying to stay out we were cueing to try to keep the leg wider because her leg was more in this position and now she's starting to get this position so it's it's improving and that's going to be a really important thing but the discus position is too Hi, look at how the discus is actually pointing down and when the hand is turned like this and you're trying to hit the high point you can't extend the arm into the high point properly so this athlete comes around she's going to be open and kind of back in again because still a little narrow and you'll see this low point of the discus and this athlete has actually a pretty good ability to smack it when she lines it up but we're learning all those fields. So if the sweep leg and the arm orbit position are off, it's gonna make all the learning really difficult. Real quick, we'll just finish the throw and you'll see how again that reverse orbit is gonna cause this athlete kind of stayed in place, was very rotational, comes off the right leg, hips are facing here. 
So that's why the discus flies in this direction. Same thing, this athlete on this particular throw landed a little closed out, hits a good block, gets the discus, but you can see that she's forward as well. So she can't really smash the hip ahead and she has had better throws. But the point here was to show the influence of the sweep leg. So this athlete here has a little bit better kind of one, but as she starts to go through pillar two, the sweep leg goes in the wrong path and then that's gonna dictate and start to influence the throw negatively. and then the high point doesn't work but this athlete was improved and even at this point as well so now we'll take a look at our third athlete and we're going to notice how this athlete's doing a better job on the sweep and some of the mechanics are there but we're going to really see how the orbit really starts to impact her throw and she's doing some good things everything looks pretty good and then as she comes here right the sweep leg goes out it still comes a little narrow this arm is opening a little bit too around see how it's opening too much it's got to open in a longer path what we want to see is that arm kind of opening this way and it kind of opened around too much so it's a little short but here's again where we see that a different version of how the sweep leg she comes around the foot needs to go a little bit more here but we want to see this leg being more active she does a decent job right here of kind of getting it out but again still you can see the space between the knees is a little narrow but this is what's interesting again similar to the second athlete we showed the orbit is a little high okay it's not bad but right here watch the discus creep forward it actually goes forward and you can even look at the shadow you would see how it kind of it's actually getting in front so there is this is where you can see and this was after we had cued on on working it but you can see it's actually starting to move slightly ahead of the shoulder and so now this sweep position doesn't come all the way around right we want to optimally land at 12 so the wide sweep and again the orbit so she's got almost again similar to what we saw in thrower two the orbit is going high too early and so now because it goes high too early it's hard to keep the discus back because mechanically if my arm is up here i can't keep it as far back so if i'm trying to turn and it's up i can't get the discus i can't get ahead of the discus so this is what we're trying to teach this athlete and this will be orbit change so we have to understand that the orbit does begin in pillar one it begins at this point of the throw and it's going to be coming around down up and again this athlete doesn't get it up this athlete has too much of a level orbit as the second athlete did as well and these things all will affect the sequencing between the sweep and the arm they connect it's a system it's a sequence it's a chain reaction and so what we want to see is keeping that understanding that arm path and understanding that sweep leg path are both big so now as the athlete comes through because of that she kind of shortens this arm reverses the orbit the orbit's dropping a little too much she does a pretty good job of trying to pull through and block and is trying to keep a lot of tension and again but that causes this block leg to kind of move a little bit because she's going to pull around just a touch too much and that's what's going to cause it off so close key thing but what we want to do is kind of as we talk about a lot of tips and we've created youtube videos to help you guys understand what to do in the throw one of the things we want to do is actually look at it with younger athletes that are in the development cycle and it'll be really good to put these videos up in a few months from now when i know these athletes will be throwing considerably better technically so each of these athletes live out of the area two in arizona and two in one out of state and so i don't get to see them as much but we'll be correcting them and coaching them according to the throwing chain reaction system and giving them insights and be working at video when I don't see them and then when they come into town we'll train but it will still be really interesting to watch them progress and how we're going to be focusing on improving that is really getting them to simply understand the path of the discus orbit that's a simple fundamental but it's super critical to your throwing and working on a wide knees and active sweep leg so the way we'll work that is a lot of our drill bands where we'll teach the athlete how to put that around the knee and create tension against the band and that helps to teach the active wide sweep leg and and again, I like that because it's forcing you to create the stretch and the band forces a different feeling and it becomes really obvious when you're doing it correctly. So at any rate, hopefully this helps you guys for coaches and throwers out there, understanding the sweep, breaking it down, doing lots of drills that are going to help you work that sweep leg. Like I said, please reference our sweep leg video. We've got an older video on here and we have some different things pertaining to the orbit and how to carry the discus. And if you look at those things and kind of combine it here, that should help you to put together some drills, but you got to focus on those mechanics in the fast 
fastest way to get better is just to put in a lot of the correct reps and that's where drills come in is to train patterns so you can put it together in your entire throw okay so hopefully if you found this video helpful please give us a thumbs up if you'd like any information on the Airtay throws nation training program please visit our website link is below and be sure to hit that subscribe button comment below and we will see you on the next video what we want to understand is that where the arms are so we generally are going to be keeping everything level and that's what's going to help